Let me show you how to create these amazing story videos using AI. This will be the best workflow ever. We'll convert the still images into stunning storytelling animations, including how to move their lips according to the script. We'll also generate the sound effects using AI. I'll tell you the paid tools and also their free alternative. For any questions you can join my Discord. For the script I'm using ChatGPT, you can also use Google's Gemini or Microsoft Copilot. Here are some of the prompts to get a good story. ChatGPT has written a story for us. If you don't want an AI-generated story, here's a website named American Literature, where you can find many human-written stories. Now we've got the story. Then ask ChatGPT to separate all the characters' narrations. Here you have the scripts of all the characters. We'll generate the voiceover for all the characters. Now we have the main story and the script of all the characters. Let's generate the scenes. Copy the first paragraph of the story and ask ChatGPT to separate all the scenes of the paragraph, separate even the smallest scene, and then convert them into prompts for AI image generation. Now ChatGPT has given the prompts for all the scenes. You can find this conversation link in the description. For consistent image generation, the best one is Midjourney which starts from $10 a month. Another good tool that is also free is Leonardo AI. Leonardo gives 150 credits per day. Click on image generation. Here you need to understand some settings. First of all, disable the legacy mode so that you can experience the new interface. Then on the left side click on present and choose Anime. In the present style, choose Anime General. Choose Contrast Medium. In image dimensions, choose 169 for YouTube videos. Now copy the scene's prompt and paste it. In the prompt, also include 3D animation and Disney Pixar for better results, and hit generate. Now the first image is generated, do the same and generate the second image. As this image has a face, so you need to click on the three dots and copy the seed. At the bottom left side, paste that scene. In this way, you'll get the same face for the whole story. By following this process, generate all the images. For video generation, Leonardo has a built-in video generator. Hover the mouse on the image and you'll find the Generate Motion Video button. It'll cost 25 credits to generate the video. If you don't want to use Leonardo's video generator, I highly prefer Luma AI, which is the best video generator, but you need to buy its subscription. Another tool is Hyper AI. It gives 300 free credits per account and 5 generations per day. Click on Image to Video so the interface will appear. Click on First Frame Image and upload the image that we downloaded from Leonardo. In the Describe section put the same prompt that we used for image generation, or you can leave it blank. By clicking on the duration you'll notice that 4 second video generation is completely free, but for 8 second video 40 credits will be consumed. Finally hit the Create button, it may take some time. After the generation, you can upscale it but it would cost 80 credits. HyperAI provides 300 free credits for every new account. Let's compare Leonardo and Hyper's generations. Let's generate the voiceovers. First we'll generate the main voiceover, and we'll also need to generate the narrations of all the characters. For voiceover, the best one is Eleven Labs which starts from $5 a month. The free alternative is Play.ht. Open the website and click on Go to Studio. Click on Voice and you'll find a lot of voices. For storytelling Samuel's voice is perfect. Choose a voice. Go to ChatGPT copy the main script, and paste it. Now the script is automatically divided into paragraphs. At the upper left corner, Click on Generate All. After the generation is completed, go to Export and carefully select as a single file. The complete voiceover will be downloaded. Now we need to generate the character's voice. Click on New File. Go to Voices. Click on Filter. Select Youth. Here choose a voice according to your character. Copy paste each dialogue in a separate paragraph. Play a voice and then download it separately. In this way download each dialogue separately. For lip sync, you can use Pika Art. At the bottom, click on image and video, and upload the video clip. Then click on lip sync. Upload the audio file. And hit generate. It is saying face not detected because of the cartoon's face, but don't worry I have another tool for you. It is Lalamouche Studio, you can only use it on Canva. Click on try and it will redirect you to the Canva automatically. If you know about Canva you will also know that its premium package starts from $55, but I can give it to you just for $5. So. Here click on use in new design, and the design is opened. At the left side, click on upload video and upload the video clip. Then on upload audio and upload the audio file. Remember it's the narrator script that we generated before. Finally hit generate. It may take some time. Add to the design. 
You can download the video totally free. Before combining all the clips, we need background music and sound effects, we'll also generate them using free AI tools. First of all, we need prompts for music generation. Ask ChatGPT to convert all the scenes from the beginning into prompts for music generation. ChatGPT has provided the prompts for music and sound effects generation, the first tool is PikaLab, upload the specific video clip, then click on sound effects. Here put the prompt. And hit generate. It has generated three different audios. Select the audio you like best and click on continue. The second tool is Pop Pop AI. Here put prompts. Make sure to enable the smart mode and hit generate. You can download any audio from there. Now everything is ready. We just need to combine them. You need basic knowledge of editing to do this. Open any video editor. Add all the clips in the sequence. Then add the voiceover parts. The voiceover should match the scenes. Then add the background music that we generated. Also, add captions. CapCut has an auto caption option. Your timeline will look like this. The video originally looks like this. But this after color grading. Select the clip and click on adjustments. You need to apply any of these settings according to the scene. Here's the result. Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between two great mountains, there lived a curious little boy named Timmy. Timmy loved exploring the woods near his home. He would spend hours wandering among the trees, imagining that each one had a story to tell. One sunny afternoon, while walking through his favorite part of the forest, Timmy stumbled upon something unusual, a lorry, old tree with a trunk so wide that it would take three people holding hands to wrap around it. The tree was covered in thick, green moss, and its branches reached high into the sky. As Timmy approached the tree, he heard a soft voice say, Hello, Timmy. Timmy looked around, but he didn't see anyone. Who's there? It's me, the old tree you're standing in front of. Timmy couldn't believe his ears. Trees can't talk. Oh, but I can. I've been watching over this forest for hundreds of years, but you're the first child in a long time who has taken the time to listen. What's your name, Mr. Tree? You can call me Oakley. I have a story to share with you, Timmy, if you're willing to listen. Timmy sat down at the base of Oakley, leaning back against the soft moss. Oakley began his tale. Many years ago, this forest was home to magical creatures, fairies, talking animals, and even a wise old dragon. They lived in harmony, hidden from the outside world. But one day, a terrible storm swept through the land, and the creatures were forced to leave the forest for a safer place. Only I remained rooted deep in the earth keeping their secrets safe. Do the magical creatures still exist? Yes, they do, but they're in a faraway land waiting for someone brave and kind. If you have any kind of confusion, you can message me on Discord. For Canva Pro, the link is given in the description.